Hi everybody, Jessie here from jessiebanks.com and I'm back with another card process video for you. This one is for Too Cute Ink and I colored up this cute little balloon penguin and he's called Penguin Balloon. I will have a link to him in the description box down below. The sentiment I made on my own, if you're part of my Facebook group, it's in there as a freebie. Definitely join if you didn't. Again, that'll be down below. I'm starting off with printing the masks on paper, just it's like a vinyl paper vinyl masking. I just printed it on my laser printer. You have to be a little careful because the, of course the toner scrapes off of it, but it was no problem. And I'm using um, picked raspberry and wilted violet, I think it is. Something like that. Um, to create a background, and I'm just using my Clarity stencil brushes to brush the color on around the cute little image here. So that's why I masked it off so that I don't have to worry about getting any color on him. I'm doing this on Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I like to use this cardstock when I'm using distress inks in the background and Copics for the image. I find that it takes a little more ink to get my Copics to blend but my distress inks work better on the background on this paper than they do on the Copic paper. So these are the colors I'm using for our penguin himself. So that's C97531 and 0. Zooming in here a little bit for you and I'm going to go in and start with C9 and add in my darkest shadows on the body. He's so cute. I love these images. They are the darlingest things ever. So we're just going to add in where I think the darkest points are going to be. So along his belly, the inside of his legs, um, a little bit in where the comes down towards his nose, the outside part of, or down towards his beak on his face. And I just create a little bit of a roundness on the top of his head. So this video is only sped up two times the original speed and my big hand is in the way. See, I really need to get better at paying attention to where the camera is when I'm coloring so you guys can see everything. But that's all right. Um, so I'm just adding in these darkest points and you can see how slow I color in this one base a little better because it's only twice the original speed. So I mean, I'm only going half as fast, which is awesome. But, and these images are so easy to color up. I, I love them. And I, I have a soft spot for anything penguin. They're the best critters ever. <laughs> so C7, and I'm just extending all of those, all of those colors just a little bit further than the next. Blending out into the white area. I don't like to put more than one coat of color on if I don't have to. If I can get it to blend in one coat instead of two, it's faster. Yes, that's definitely the way I'm going to do it. If your colors don't blend and you have to put a second round of colors on it, go ahead. I do that lots, especially on Nina paper, just because it doesn't blend quite as easy as my Copic Express it does, I personally find. So now we're on to C5, and then I'm going to go in with C3 for my lightest color on the dark parts, and it's going to be my darkest color on his belly and face, so the light area. So that C3 is kind of my my cutoff point, I guess you would say, in your dark colors and my beginning of my light. So just giving him a nice round shape here because he's cute and round and darling. Um, when I cut out the stamp I, or the stencil, stencil, oh my goodness, I cannot speak. When I cut mm. out the mask, I did not um, film cutting out the mask because I hold it really close to my face. Um, and I didn't try and cut around that string. If you go over that string with the distress inks, you're not going to notice the difference. I just didn't want to put purple and pink into the penguin that I'm going to color black or into the balloon that I'm going to color blue. So that was the whole purpose of masking him off. It just made more sense than trying to not get colors in those areas. I've been really into doing these one layer cards lately. They're super fun and it's it's a challenge almost to try and get them to look like it's not one layer. To try and get it to look like, you know, the penguins jumping off the page a little bit. And you'll see a little later on, I go, I think I'm done and I actually, I wave bye to the screen and then I go back in and I put W3 around him to make him look like he's popping out a little bit further. And then I find that that's a little hard, harsh, and I didn't record that part, but I went with W00 at the end again, just to blend it out a little bit more. Now I'm going over this with my colorless blender just because I thought the lines were a little harsh and just to push it all together. R22 to fill in his cute pink little cheeks. Because heck yes, brosy cheeks. And then we're going in with Y19. 
Y14, which was too light, so I grabbed YR18 as well. And then we're going to do our balloon here, and I start with BG09. Um, balloons are going to be darkest where they pinch together, so where you tie the little knot. So that's why I'm putting a lot more color dark shadows near the bottom of the balloon, then up top, and then of course in the little tail. Then we'll blend that out a little higher, and we're going to go through with all of our BG colors here. And like I said, I go back in with the W00 marker at the end. And that's it for this card. Like I said, all of the links that you need will be in the description box down below. If you're not a member of my Facebook group, I would love for you to join. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.